welcome to your daily double reading. Today we will be using the Finding Inner Peace deck along with the Simplicity Tarot to get two card combos for you to choose from for your message today. So I am going to start with the Finding Inner Peace deck. Let's see. This is uh, beautiful messages with affirmation. These are short readings for you to give you some guidance for the day forward. By all means, trust your intuition to lead you to the card combo that is going to provide you the insight that you need to hear for the day. All right, so we've got these two in place. Let's add the tarot cards to that. One, please, thank you. Group two, thank you, let's see it. All right. Okay, we've got the two card combos for you to choose from. Take a moment, ask your intuition, see what's resonating with you. Which card combo are you being drawn to? Card combo number one or card combo number two? Once you've made your selection, the timestamps will be down in the description for you. Just click on the one that is resonating most with you and I will see you in your daily double reading. Hello group one and welcome to your daily double reading today. If you're listening to this, you've chosen the first card combo for the day. Let's see what the cards have in store for you. Number five, I have choices and you've literally just made a choice by picking this. I have choices. This is about change, that five number. I don't have to be stuck in something that no longer fits. I have choices always. So your affirmation today is I have choices always. You do not need to be stuck in something that no longer fits. And as you can see, she is walking forward. She is walking away from something and she's walking into something else. If you've been feeling stuck, literally, um, like you don't have a choice and this is just the way it is, the way it's always going to be. I don't get to make my own decision here or I don't have any choices or I am yeah, this is just the way life is. That's what they're saying. That is a, a phrase or a narrative that spirit wants you to look at today to remember that you are giving away your power when you deny yourself the choices that you actually do have. So this is about making a shift, not only in your mindset here, but also remembering the truth, which is you always have a choice. Your choices might not be super fun to choose from, I'm not saying that, but you always have a choice. This is about really connecting, you see this big sun here, or maybe it's a moon, um, I, I'm picturing it as a sun. It's connected to your solar plexus chakra. That's our decide, I will, I decide, I choose chakra. That is right below your rib cage, right in the middle of your, the center of your body, right? So this is the chakra that they're trying to illuminate for you to get you to shift your energy, to reclaim your power to choose because you have choices always. So you feeling stuck, that's coming up for you and it's coming up in the card, that, card combo you chose today to remind you that like, you don't have to victimize yourself in that way. You do always have a choice. Again, it might not be the most exciting choice, but you have a choice. And then sometimes as we open up to that practice and that understanding that we do have a choice, that it's always, can, do I do this or do I do that? Because it may be as simple as how you're thinking about something. You have a choice about how you're gonna think about it every day. It's gonna start to reignite your power within. Let's see what we have here for the tarot. Oh my gosh, of course, of course the Four of Cups. This is like, it says boredom and disinterest right on it. The Four of Cups is a beautifully stabilizing energy. However, it's definitely connected to this, is the, what they were saying, which is, is this all there is? It's the same thing every day, I'm bored, or um, is this the way life is just gonna be? That's what this card is about. You can even see him, he's got, he's cross-legged, he's just looking at what's going on with these three cups, la da da, same thing, day after day, I don't have any choice in it, there's nothing new that's gonna come in, is this always the way it's gonna be? The answer to that is no, and Spirit's trying to give you the shift that needs to happen today, which is, 
you do have choices. You get to decide. And if you only focus on these cups here, these three cups, you miss this one being handed to you from the divine. So there's the fourth cup. It's always right out of your viewpoint, right? It's always in your periphery with the four of cups. You're so disinterested and so apathetic that you miss what is trying to be gifted to you. And maybe that gift today is just a remembering that you have the power to choose. But as you step into that power, okay, and remember it and start making and actively choosing, uh, things that feel good for you, things that connect to your heart center because uh, cups is all about emotions, you will start to see the little miracles that are being dropped in. You'll start to look around, keep your vision more open or have a wider uh, viewpoint of things and start to notice the little miracles that are happening or the little gifts from spirit that are filling your cup and helping you to understand that you do, you do have choices and the divine is supporting you. So I hope that this serves you for the day. And if you enjoyed this reading and you don't want to miss any of my future readings, then you know what to do. And I will see you in the next Daily Double. Hello group two and welcome to your daily double today. If you're listening to this, you've chosen the second card combo. So let's see what the cards have to say for you today. We've got 19. It's time to heal and evolve. Ah, yes. Look at it, she's pointing right up towards spirit. Now feel free to take this affirmation with you throughout the day if you'd like. I'm taking care of myself and my inner child and filling my mind with light-filled thoughts. I will fully heal and evolve. So this is about honoring the healing process that you are going through and understanding that it's okay to take some time to heal when you need to, to honor yourself and take care of that little you within yourself, that inner child energy, and then to transition your thoughts to something that supports that, knowing that that's all part of the evolution. So if you have been feeling like, I don't know if this is working, I don't know if I'm worth it, um, is it safe for me to focus on my healing now? Is it safe for me to uh, start to begin to shift? Am I even evolving? The answer to all of those things here is yes. They're telling you it's time. It's time to heal and evolve for you. It's time to step into this. It's time to trust yourself. It's time to look at those things and to spin them in a way that brings light back into your life or light into your heart and allow yourself to heal. Let's see what we have connected here. The Knight of Wands, adventure and passion. Wow. This is like a quick energy. This is the fastest moving night that you're getting connected to this. So when they're saying it's time, they're saying they mean it. They mean it's time now. They're saying it's time for you. Let's go. This is fire energy. You're meant to come in and step into your fire. If there's been something that you've been wanting to do that feels good to you or that you feel called to that you know is going to help you heal or that you know is part of your evolution or your ascension, this is about following that passion, following that fire. It's connected to the healing and the evolution that you're meant to be doing. So I would say don't hesitate. You don't want to be impulsive, which would be the reversed energy of this night, uh, just taking action on whatever comes uh, along your path. Give it a moment. Feel into it. And if it's right for you, there's no need to hesitate. It is time for you to step into it, to go on perhaps like a new adventure, right? Or to follow your passion, follow that ignition. It's going to help you heal and evolve. This could be something that's like creative, something that is attached to your um, passion for life. So what your service here, what you're really meant to be doing. It doesn't have to be anything that you think you're supposed to be doing. It could be just something that you feel called to. Right now, it's the time to step into that because as I said, it is connected to um, your healing and your ascension and your evolution. So I hope that this serves you for the day. And if you enjoyed this reading and you don't want to miss any of my future readings, you know what to do. And I will see you in the next Daily Double.